Hi there. Welcome to this introductory video on Group Map. I'll show you how to create and customize a map to suit your activity and how to invite participants to start brainstorming. You'll see some of the facilitator features to help you manage the process, including how to prioritize items and create action. Once you've logged into Group Map, you'll be on your home page. Here you can see the maps that you've created. You can sort them or just search your map to quickly find what you are looking for. You can either create a single map for a standalone activity or a workspace where you can add multiple activities or maps. Now let's go ahead and create our first map, which you can do here. You'll see a range of templates in separate categories such as brainstorming, decision making, prioritization, retrospectives and strategy. These templates can be customized as needed or you can start from scratch using a blank template. You can search to find the map you want and use it straight away. Let's say you are facilitating a brainstorming workshop to help identify your organization's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. You can select a suitable map from the standard templates, or you can type in the name of a specific brainstorming map, such as SWOT, to locate a template. Let's just hit create. Your own SWOT map has now been created for your use. You can start using the SWOT map, or you may want to do some customization of the map to give participants a good understanding of the objectives and instructions for each process step. Customizations of templates is easy. Let's take a look at some of the customization that you can do. Click on the sidebar and select Customize. We can start by changing the name of the map. Similarly, you can change the objectives so there is a clarity of the workshop objective and add a video link if you are using an application such as Zoom, MS Teams, Hangout or something similar. We can also change the map design. By clicking on the colour palette, we can choose to use different colours. You can also upload emoticons and images to give your map a different flavour. You can also add or remove a region on the map. Once you have the design sorted, you can now change the process steps. In this template, the standard process has three steps. Brainstorming, rate and results. Depending on what you want to achieve, you can add more steps and really get as sophisticated as you want to in the creation of your map. There are a total of nine process steps that you can add. The brainstorm step is used in all maps. This is where you can start capturing all ideas to be used in subsequent process steps. You can set the collaboration mode to individual, have group map suggest ideas, or collaborative. You can also decide how many ideas each participant can add to the map. After brainstorming, you may want to include a grouping step where you can combine two or more similar ideas to one group. A position step lets you move ideas in your map and can be done by everyone or managed by the facilitator. The rating and voting step allows for each person to independently allocate votes or rate each idea. You can choose to make these compulsory or not. An action step lets you add actions against ideas and assign responsibilities and due dates. All of these steps can be added, deleted or moved into different parts of the process depending on what you would like to do. Lastly, the results step provides a great overview for participants who have added ideas and decisions throughout the map. Let's just say all we need is the brainstorm and rating steps. We'll take a look at how each step can be further customised. So for the brainstorming step, you can add some basic instructions or prompts for your participants to brainstorm. You can then choose to have a directed brainstorm where only you as the facilitator adds ideas. Otherwise, you can have everyone add ideas and set the limit for ideas under this drop-down. You can also choose the style of brainstorming too. For example, you may want participants to put down their own ideas without being influenced by anyone else in the group. So you can select individual and they can just see their own ideas. Or you can use the suggest ideas which just shows a number of ideas that have been entered to participants at a time and they can choose to add or remove it from their own list. But, 
If you have a cool collaborative activity and everyone feels comfortable, you can select the collaborative option and everyone sees each other's ideas as they are entered. Next, we'll take a look at what changes we can make to the rate process step. Besides changing the name of this step and instructions, we can change the rating style. Rating is simply a perception scale that uses a slider for people to indicate their preferences. Scoring lets you assign a min and a max for people to rate ideas. You can also apply weightings if you want more complex rating. And you can ensure that all participants rate ideas before they continue. Once you've customised the steps as needed, there are some additional advanced options. For example, anonymity can be turned off so everyone is accountable for their ideas. Partial anonymity lets the facilitator see who entered the idea, but it will also be anonymous to the other participants. Full anonymity means that it is anonymous to the facilitator also. Please note that once a map is anonymous, it can't be switched back for obvious ethical reasons. You can also allow participants to like or dislike others' ideas. Also, turn on or off chat in group map. Once you are done, remember to save all the changes that you have made. Now you are ready to run your brainstorming workshop. You can start by inviting viewers or contributors to your map. Click on the invite tab. Invitations can be sent via email or you can provide participants with a meeting code, a URL or a QR code. Your participants can join this map through their devices such as laptop or smartphone as long as it's connected to the internet. For this demo I'll be showing you two screens, the facilitators mapped on the left and the participants on the right. As a facilitator you can use a timer to manage the process. Bring participants from one process step to the next and sort or filter what participants can see. Here participants can start to contribute their thoughts and ideas and as you can see all participants can see each other's ideas in real time. We can see the ideas in all two of the devices shown. If you want participants to stop, you can prevent further additions and changes by clicking on the tab and selecting participants can edit and changing that to a no. This basically locks the page so now participants can't enter any more ideas. When you are done with brainstorming, you can move all participants to the rate step where participants can rate or score each idea so that you will have a priority list as an output of the whole process. Now that you have completed rating all the ideas, you can move to the results step. Here you can have an overview of the ideas and ratings. As facilitator, you can choose what to show at this step. For instance, if you want to focus on ideas with the highest ratings, you can customise to view top 5 rated ideas. Once you've completed the whole map process, you can lock the entire map to prevent further changes. Now let's go ahead and check out what are the reports that GroupMap provides for each of your maps. Here we can download your report into PDF format or your map into JPEG or PDF image. In addition, you can export detailed reports from each of the process steps, such as brainstorm ideas or action, to Excel or CSV for further dissemination to stakeholders and participants. Once you're done here, you can just exit the map. All data is automatically saved, and the map itself will be saved onto your homepage. We hope you liked what you saw in this quick and condensed tour. These are just some of our many templates that you can check out. Don't forget that you can trial out GroupMap free for 14 days. If you'd like to have a more detailed demo, or you'd like to contact us with any questions, please email us at info at groupmap.com. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and we hope that GroupMap can help you and your team think better together.